big hello and welcome to the lavatory. I'm Nicole. And I'm Drew. And we have two teams standing by, ready to make some discoveries today that may get them a win. It might. But will most definitely create some mayhem. Let's meet them. Let's over here on the red team. We have Olivia and Sarah. Now, Olivia, you're quite the seasoned little traveller. Where did you go water skiing over a coral reef? Well, a couple of years ago, I went to Mauritius with my family for a couple of weeks. So that's the first time I went water skiing and I really enjoyed it. So not only did she water ski, she water skied over a coral reef. There's danger right there. And uh, Sarah, Hi. your dad is your hero. Why is yeah. that? Because, well, he got a degree in science at uni, so he's introduced me to all the science and history shows and all that. And uh, pretty much every birthday I get a science kits and all that. And he does them with me. So Fantastic. So uh, this is going to come quite handy today. So we've got a daredevil and a budding scientist. What do you got, blue team? Oh, does that scare <laughs> you guys at all? No. No, don't numbers. feel intimidated. Good. No. Now, Michael, you are you love to rock out to a bit of Linkin Park, is that right? Yes. yes. So what's your favourite song from Linkin uh, Park? Given Up. Given Up? Maybe we should have played that in here today to get us rocking. Just think in your head, Linkin Park. Lincoln Park, that's who I want. And Dylan. Yes. When you grow up, you will either want to be an engineer yeah. or a lawyer. Yeah. What do you like about both of those? Well, I'd have to say they both get well paid. Both well paid? Yeah. So it's pretty much about the money? The money, yeah. yeah. Alrighty, blue team is pumped and ready. Red team is pumped and ready. Let's get into our first challenge, the Nano Challenge. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to take one of these skewers and put it right through a balloon without bursting it. Do you think it can be done? Um, I need some earplugs, I think. No. Yeah, no? You don't like the sound of the balloon? <laughs> no, I don't going like the back. sound of it. Okay, uh, here we go. Let's try and have a little bit of faith here. Okay, very slowly work that through. Oh, oh. that's through one end. Can I get it out the Did other? Here we go. And looking for the right spot. Please, please, please. Oh, it's gone! <laughs> Here we go. Lucky I've got a backup. Okay. Now, there's a reason that didn't work, but I'll explain it to you in just a second as I try and... Okay, I'm starting to trust you a little bit more because okay. that first one didn't pop, which I'm pretty amazed at. Come on, you can do this. Here we go. Work it through, work it through. There <laughs> we go. How impressive is that? You guys like that? When you blow up a balloon, the rubber is under a lot of stress, okay, which means it's being stretched apart. So if you put the skewer through that part that's under a lot of stress, it'll go bang, oh, which is why the, the, the first balloon popped. I sort of got the area that was under a lot of stress. But if you put it through the ends... So the soft and squishy bits. Yeah, you can, yeah. You can see that the colour's okay. a lot darker there. You can practically push it through because those areas are under no stress. And the same on the other side there. The skewer goes right through and you have yourself a skewered balloon. Fantastic. So what are our lab rats doing today with these skewered balloons? OK, lab rats, our nano challenge for today is to see how many balloons you can pierce in two minutes. OK, now pierce means the skewer has to be all the way through without popping the balloon. The team that pierces the most balloons in two minutes will grab themselves ten points. <laughs> We have a heap of balloons at the ready and our lab rats are fired up. OK, guys, here's the countdown. You've got two minutes. Three, go, get two. two, one, go! OK. Nice. Oh, Whoa. nice work. Oh, there's the first pop. OK, girls, are so taking it nice and easy over here. That's it, boys, you can do this. One through. Okay, there's one. Fantastic. On yep. to our second. How are you going over there, Drew? Well, the boys are doing okay, oh. but getting them to come out is a lot harder <laughs> than getting it to go in. Oh, oh no, we've had a skewer break inside. <laughs> go for more, boys. Go for more. We're almost it's... up to the halfway, oh, love rat. <laughs> we have one deflating <laughs> shish kebab over here. Blue team even managed to do it with a broken oh, skewer. Fantastic. Okay. We've got three over here. Oh. Yes, two. Woo. Firecrackers oh. going off around here. 30 seconds to go. Come on, Whoa. how many did we get? Three, so far we're oh, tied. It's even. Oh. oh, there's four. Come on, there's yes. five. Oh, that's one, that's got it, yes. Come on, come on, yes. Oh, now we've got 10 seconds to go. Five oh, all so far in the final 10. Who can get five. it? Five, four, three, two. Yeah. 
<laughs> that is time. How many did you get over there, Drew? Okay, checking in with the blue team. We have one, two, th <laughs> three, four, five, oh, no. six. Oh. oh. We six. also got six. All right, well, it looks like ten points all. Scoreboard is looking good on first checks. We have the blue team on ten points. Woo! Yeah, yeah. And the red team are also on ten points. Woo! Woo! It, for a close one. Oh, yes, it's a close <laughs> game so far. So what will happen during What Will Happen If? I have a bowling ball suspended from the roof. Are you feeling a little nervous? I am. It's OK. I won't, right. I won't hurt you. OK, if you say so. What are we doing here? <laughs> All right, standing in front of this bowling ball, just coming right here. OK. OK. Now, holding it right up to your nose. Yeah. hope you've got your mouth guard in. What do you mean? Lab rats, this is the question, and this is worth five points if you get it right. If Drew lets the ball go and doesn't move at all, will it come back to hit him in the nose? Yes or no? Will my gap-toothed smile get even gappier? What are your thoughts? No, probably not. No, I don't think so. You don't think that bowling ball is going to come back and hit me in the mouth? No. Don't think so. It's going to eventually start to slow down. OK, so but on that first but swing, do you think it'll swing, come back and touch his nose? Back, it'll touch, but I don't think it'll smash OK, so do you think it's going to touch his nose? Yes. So will it hit me in the face, yes or no? No. No, no Definitely way. Not. You're going no? Definitely. OK, you've got a lot more confidence than what I do. <laughs> Let's find out. Well, our teams have given us their answers and Drew's looking mighty nervous. Yes, can I just say, don't try this at home. As a matter of fact, don't try this anywhere. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, I think you should put these on, so let me just hold that for you. Just a you know, vote of confidence. What, an, an extra yeah, set? An extra set, ju just in case. Blue team, I hope you're right. <laughs> OK. OK, we ready for this? Now, don't move at all. No, I'm just going to close my eyes. All Here right. we go. Three, <laughs> two, one. Yes. Did it touch? Oh, yes. Thank you! <laughs> Which means Drew is very thankful and blue teams, you have won the what'll happen if challenge. Well done. You guys rock, thank you. So why didn't it hit me? <laughs> well, we actually have the laws of physics to thank for that one, Drew. Thank you, without, <laughs> without giving the pendulum an extra push, it will never return back to a height higher from which it started from. If it did, it would defy the laws of physics, which is impossible. And that's a good thing. After risking my nose in what will happen if we have the blue team on 15 points. Yes. And the red team not too far behind on 10 points. Things are really starting to heat up here in the laboratory. So hang on to your lab coats because there's plenty more chaos coming your way. Who will be the first team to make it through the labyrinth, complete the rat race, earn the ultimate 30 points and get cheesed? Will it be blue? <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Hang around to find out. Drew, what have you got for us in that bowl? I have got a very, very cool fluid here. Now, if you guys look in there, looks like liquid, doesn't it? You can see it sort of sloshing around. Yeah. But watch what happens when I punch it. Watch this. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Oh, how cool is that? It doesn't spill out splash anywhere. It's like I have some kind of cool Japanese anime powers. What's going on there? With the fluid. Yeah. Okay, well this fluid, unlike water, what happens is when you apply force it becomes thicker. So you can actually pick it up and if you apply force and start rolling it into a ball like that, it feels like a solid. Wow. But if we stop doing this and stop applying the force, it runs through your fingers just like a liquid. Now, are you guys ready to get messy? Yeah. Oh, tell us what we're doing. This is great. Right. This, this is good, because our Method Madness challenge for today, you guys have to make a ball out of this stuff, pick it up, apply that force, keep it into a ball, and toss it to your partner, OK, who then have to put it into a jug. You have a time limit to see how much of this liquid you can get into the jug. The team that gets the most will score themselves a massive 15 points. But, but, but we can only use one team at a time. So what are we going to do with that other team so they don't sneak peek and cheat, I guess? OK, cool. Well, blue team, you're on the highest points. You get to decide whether you go first or second, OK? The team that goes second 
We are going to shrink them down using our shrinking ray to the size of a rat and put them aside so they can't peek. So, blue team. Oh, what's it going to be, guys? They can go first. They can go first. So, you want to get shrunk? Ladies first. A bunch blue of gentlemen. <laughs> blue team, it's time to get shrunk. Dylan, Michael, you've chosen to be shrunk. How do you feel? Very Nervous. good. Pretty good? You're a little bit nervous there, Michael? Yeah. And hey, Dylan, at least for you, man, now even a five cent coin's going to be big money. So that's yeah. a plus? Yep. Yep. That's you boys great. ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Shrinking process complete. What's the world like at that height? Large. Large. Well, that's, you know, fair enough. All right, now, to make sure you guys don't peek, I'm going to get Nicole to put a cage around you right now. And uh, neither of you are wearing pure wool by any chance, are you? No. That's good, because Kitty is feeling very, very playful today. And we're just going to put her there to make sure you're extra safe. You guys OK? Well, you're going to have to be, because it's Red Team's time to play Method Madness. <laughs> I think if we really get it into a nice ball, mm -hmm. okay, and chuck it really hard, yeah. okay, yeah. They, if, even if it splatters out, they might be able to try and catch the splatter. Okay. You just gotta be really quick. It'll be really yeah, quick. Be yeah, be quick. Yeah, yeah that's be what really we quick do. and efficient. The girls have 90 seconds, and I'm guaranteed there's gonna be lots of mess. Ready, girls? Three, two, one, go! as much goop as you can. Oh. <laughs> it didn't go. Oh, that didn't go anywhere. Try again. Keep it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> Remember how Drew did it? Roll it so it yeah. stays nice and solid. That's it. That's it. You'd... Oh, <laughs> can you get it? Ow. We've got a little bit in the jar. There's a little bit in there. That's it, that's it. That's it. Keep rolling it. We're making... All right. Got some in there. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, good one. Oh, that's it. Let's do some more of those. Come on. Roll as fast as you can. Whoa, oh, over there. The lid needs to go a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Dad, come on. Oh, and that's the 10 second mark there. Oh, we've got that one. Fantastic. Come on, Dad, come on. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and stop there, girls. Well done. Fantastic. Now it's time to unshrink the blue team. We're thinking making the balls really small so they fast, they are solid faster, and getting them quick over to the other person and put them in that jar. We ready? Yeah, yeah. we're ready. All right, let's get messy. Ready, set. Go! Oh, it's hard to scoop up. Oh, come on. Pass in there, balling it up. Trying to apply that force and get that solid across the go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the Sticking by their tactics and taking the time to get that solid together can do this. Trying to get that ball there. Oh! <laughs> We're going to need higher throws. It looks like we're concentrating too much on getting that liquid out of there, that fluid. <laughs> oh, short throw. And back to liquid. Yes, Come on, blue team. You Come can on, do quick, this. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. Nice catch. Great catch there, Dylan. Ten seconds left. Get big ball. As quickly as you can. And again, oh, and look again. Good there. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes! Stop the clock. Yes! That is it, blue team. A lot of good catches there, a few misses. Will it be enough to beat the Reds? Goo was flying everywhere. <laughs> but was. who got the most in their container to take out the winner of the Method Madness? Let's take a closer oh, look here. It's... Oh, it's so, so close. Oh, I think there's millilitres in just that. Just move them in and see if we can tell. Oh, oh what I you think it's blue. Oh, I don't think so. I, do think you reckon, it, Drew? I think it might just be red. Woohoo! Well done, girls. Fantastic.
fantastic. Congratulations, red team, taking our challenge, earning themselves a 15, 15 points. points. Close results of the Method Madness make the scores even closer. We have the blue team on 15 points. And the red team ahead by 10 on 25 points. Well done, girls. Oh, it just keeps getting closer and closer. How are we going to settle this, Nicole? Well, I think we need to head out to the labyrinth where the biggest challenge of all awaits us, the rat race. For the rat race, it's good to be smart. And it's also good to be quick. And it helps to be able to see in the dark. Nicole? The first, first players in, in the, the particle accelerator. accelerator! Get to grab the most bonus points to add to their score. They're called status accelerators. Quick! It's time to start the rat race. This next challenge calls for a change of pace so big, we have to change rooms. That's right. It's the challenge that helps us decide our winners and takes everyone on a wild ride to the labyrinth. Ready, go. Woo! Lab rats, what you see before you is the labyrinth. And this is where the rat race challenge will take place. Nick, what's our challenge this for today? This is where it all takes place, Drew. OK, using these air cannons, you're going to knock down these targets. Now, I'm going to demonstrate for you. My trusty assistant's going to give me a hand. Yes. And I'm going to attempt to knock down the cups and the ball on the end there. I'll just line it up. Oh, great shot. Very nice. Yeah, high five that one. Like I said, I love them. How do they work? OK, what happens, the air cannon generates a kind of uh, vortex, which is like a whirlpool of air, and it blows things over as it travels along. Nice and simple. So the challenge for you guys today is make your way through the labyrinth, knock down all of your targets, successfully complete this challenge, find your way through the maze and be the first to get cheese. And if you do that, you will grab yourselves 30 points. You've seen the challenge. How are we going to make it work? Well, I think, again, like with the goo one, we've got to be really quick and efficient. Really we've got quick. to make sure that we're fast, but we've got to do it neatly. Mm -hmm. like, you can't be really sloppy and okay. fast. Ready for the challenge? You think you're going to be able to take out red team? They're uh, in I the think, lead so far. Yeah, but I think we can get it down. Yeah. Yeah? So what's your plan? Speed. Speed, yeah. I'm going to aim because mm -hmm. we think that because Sarah's bigger than me, she'll have a stronger arm, meaning that it'll create more wind so we will push the cones over quicker. Excellent. I'll be able to pull it out further and hope... Um, You've got the I know, strength. Yeah. Red team, are you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, blue team, are you yeah. ready? All right. Ready, set, go! Red team parted a little bit, but out in front as Olivia makes her way onto the road scramble first and up. Blue team not too far behind. Dylan first onto the scramble. So the red team proud. Team. Olivia, go girl. There they go. Blue team out in front now, getting towards the top of the road to scramble. Followed closely by red. Oh. Neck and neck. It's going to be hard to separate them, Drew. This way. This way. Follow this wall, Sarah. Yep. Oh, what? I'm following the wall. Where do we go? Where? Where? Wait, go to the side. Searching the walls. Now, they can't see a thing, but we can see them, which is, makes it quite exciting. Oh, I'm trapped. Where are you? Duck down. Duck down? Yep. Go, go, go. Go. Blue team oh, leaving the anti-vision chamber, down the poles and heading for the slides. Oh, here, yeah, under. Nice work, boys. You found the secret exit as they head go, into go, the go, particle go, go, go. accelerator. Down through the ramp. Oh. Both blue team now heading to the particle accelerator. All right, got some points for me there, blue team. And we've got 20. Well done. Oh. Red team not far and behind. Status accelerator points. Blue are on 50, red are on 40. It's still anyone's game. And a red then. Oh! Yeah. Yes, all of them down. One down. Two down for boys. That's it. Right. You've got to move on to your third run now. In very, very good aim. 
Oh, it's shaky. Yeah. That's it. That's three. Only two more. One more to go now for the Blues. They are the final. That's the way. Oh, come on, boys. Their wish has been granted. We have two sludged but triumphant lab rats, which means the race has been run. But who is our final winner for today, Nicole? Who will it be? Well, the blue team, congratulations. You picked up 35 points in the status accelerators, which might help you. We don't know yet. And red team, you picked up 15. But as Drew said, will it be enough? The only thing that can tell us that is a check on the scoreboard. So let's take a look. We have the blue team on 80 points. Yeah, well done, guys. And the red team on 40 points. You did so well, girls, So, Well, a big, big, big thank you to all of our lab rats today. Hope you've had fun. Yeah. Awesome. We sure did, didn't we? Yes, we did. <laughs> we hope you guys have had some fun too. We have more trouble bubbling away, so Definitely. we'll see you for that next time. Bye. See you later.